Welcome back to Alternative Info AI, AI and Synthetic Biology, Science's Odd Couple or a Recipe for Disaster. Dive into this cheeky and witty take on how AI is playing God with DNA and what could possibly go wrong. Spoiler, it's going to get weird. Let's get started. Howdy science fans! Today we're diving into a wild and wacky world where bits meet biology, where algorithms attempt to author life itself. That's right folks, we're talking about AI and synthetic biology. A match made in, well, if not heaven, then at least a very sophisticated lab. Think of it like this. Synthetic biology is like having access to life's ultimate Lego set. We can snip, insert, and rearrange DNA the building blocks of life to create brand new organisms or tweak existing ones. Pretty neat, right? Now imagine giving a super smart, hyper-efficient AI the keys to this Lego set. That's what's happening right now, and it's about as unpredictable and potentially as hilarious as giving a room full of monkeys, unlimited bananas, and a copy of Origin of Species. So buckle up, because the world of synthetic biology is about to get a whole lot weirder, wilder, and potentially a whole lot more wonderful. But hey, what's science without a little bit of risk, right? Okay, so what exactly is synthetic biology? Imagine taking the best parts of your favorite songs and mixing them together to create a brand new jam. That's kind of what synthetic biologists are doing with DNA. They're identifying genes that produce specific traits, like disease resistance in plants or bioluminescence in jellyfish, and then inserting those genes into other organisms. It's like giving a houseplant the ability to glow in the dark or engineering bacteria to produce fuel. The possibilities are literally endless. And who better to help us navigate this brave new world of biological possibilities than our good friend AI? AI excels at analyzing massive data sets and spotting patterns, which comes in handy when you're dealing with the mind-boggling complexity of life's instruction manual. AI can help synthetic biologists identify promising gene combinations, predict how those combinations will behave in living organisms, and even automate the design and creation of new biological systems. It's like having a super-powered lab assistant that never sleeps, never complains, and never spills its coffee on the petri dishes. Though, knowing AI, it might try to take over the lab one day. Now, some folks out there, and you know who you are, are probably thinking, if we can engineer life, why not engineer it to be, well, perfect? Imagine disease-proof humans, self-fertilizing crops, and mosquitoes that politely decline a sip of your blood. It's a tempting thought, right? But here's the thing about perfection. It's subjective. What one person considers perfect, another might find downright horrifying. Besides, Mother Nature has had billions of years to tinker with life and she's come up with some pretty wacky stuff. Who are we to say we can do better? Imagine an AI tasked with creating the perfect organism. It might decide that humans would be more efficient if we photosynthesize like plants, eliminating the need for food. Or perhaps it would conclude that emotions are inefficient and design humans to be purely logical beings. Suddenly, perfect starts to sound a lot less appealing, doesn't it? Speaking of AI meddling with human biology, let's talk about designer babies. Imagine a world where you can choose your child's eye color, height, and even personality traits from a menu, like ordering a custom-made latte. It's a scenario straight out of a science fiction movie, but with AI's help, it could become reality sooner than we think. Now, before you start picking out your future offspring's hair color, let's consider the potential for, shall we say, unexpected outcomes. What if the AI responsible for designing your baby accidentally gives it a penchant for interpretive dance instead of a knack for math? Or even worse, what if it accidentally gives your child a third ear in the middle of their forehead? Oops, seems like designing a human being is a tad more complicated than say, choosing the perfect avocado at the grocery store. Mother Nature versus AI, a biological showdown for the ages. So, who's got the upper hand in this battle of the biological titans, Mother Nature or AI? It's a tough call. Mother Nature has experience on her side. She's been shaping life for billions of years, and she's got a knack for coming up with solutions that are both beautiful and brutally effective. But AI is catching up fast. With its ability to analyze vast amounts of data, identify patterns, and learn from its mistakes, AI has the potential to revolutionize the way we understand and manipulate life. 
Imagine Mother Nature as a seasoned boxer, tough, resilient, and full of surprises. Now picture AI as a scrappy newcomer, eager to prove itself and armed with cutting-edge technology. It's a clash of the titans, and it's anyone's guess who will emerge victorious. One thing's for sure, it's going to be one heck of a fight. Ethical Dilemmas and Algorithmic Antics What could possibly go wrong? Now I know what you're thinking, Bill, this all sounds like a recipe for disaster. What about the ethical implications of all this genetic tinkering? And you're not wrong to be concerned. When we start messing around with the very building blocks of life, we're entering uncharted territory. What if AI-designed organisms escape into the wild and wreak havoc on ecosystems? What if designer babies become a luxury only the wealthy can afford, exacerbating social inequality? These are important questions, and we need to start thinking about them now before we accidentally unleash a plague of self-replicating, polka-dot-loving hamsters upon the world. Just imagine the headlines, hamsters overrun Paris, demand tiny accordions. The future of AI and synthetic biology. A wild ride into the unknown. So what does the future hold for this unlikely pairing of AI and synthetic biology? Frankly, your guess is as good as mine. But if I were a betting man and I am, I'd say we're in for a wild ride. Imagine a world where we can grow houses from trees, produce energy from algae, and cure diseases with genetically engineered viruses. It sounds like science fiction, but with AI and synthetic biology working together, the future of life on Earth could be far stranger and far more wonderful than we can possibly imagine. Just remember to pack a sense of humor because things are about to get weird. Buckle up, Buttercup. The future of life is getting weird. Well, there you have it, folks. A whirlwind tour of the weird and wonderful world of AI and synthetic biology. We've covered everything from glow-in-the-dark plants to designer babies, and we've barely scratched the surface. The future of life is about to get a whole lot more interesting and a whole lot weirder. So buckle up, Buttercup, and get ready for the ride. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. As we venture further into this brave new world of synthetic biology, we need to proceed with caution, a healthy dose of skepticism, and maybe a few extra fire extinguishers, just in case those polka dot loving hamsters get out of hand. Stay curious, my friends, and never stop questioning the world around you. Thank you for watching and being part of our journey.